I wanna share how much the average simple rank and rent website is making me, okay? And I, I'm talking about my sites because the majority of people, and I've shared this before, the majority of people that get into this space, they actually lose money. They get in, they get in the wrong niches. They get in, they have no sales process. All of a sudden, a couple of months, couple of years later, they have a bunch of recurring bills, hosting, uh, domains, uh, call tracking numbers that are adding up and they have an expensive hobby, but it's not making them any money, okay? So I'm gonna talk about my deals. I'm gonna talk about my average deal and the way that I train to sell it because I, I undersell my deals because I don't wanna have to have constant upkeep. I don't want my business to be dependent on me checking in with my clients every couple of weeks or every couple of months. I want to literally be able to go off the map and still make the same amount of money month in and month out. So the way that I sell is very, very strategic. I do not oversell. I do not overpromise. I actually get people to make a decision on a worst case scenario, a logical decision. I don't use emotion. I don't get into all of that because I want this to be very cut and dry. I want my deals to be very binary. Meaning, I give you leads, you give me money. That's it, okay? Um, and if I do anything on top of that, great. I'm probably gonna get more business from you, but you're gonna be happy because I'm gonna set the expectations down here. And even at these expectations, which are very low, you're still going to double, triple, quadruple your money, okay? So I will tell you this, I have had uh, clients that have gone on, come on board with me. And by the way, I always, always, always sign contracts. Some people in this space, they say, I don't need contracts because if I'm producing leads, then why would I need a contract? Well, let me tell you this. I know that when people have contracts, they act differently. I know when people sign contracts, they, they, they're committing. I know when people have contracts, they think twice before canceling their credit card and getting out of Dodge. I know when people have contracts, they don't just walk away from stuff just because they're not closing, okay? So I am a contract guy, period, end of story. I always will be. So for those of you that have heard people go, oh, I don't like contract, it's because they don't wanna bring it up. It's because it's a big deal to them. Because if it's contract or no contract, wouldn't you want a contract? What they're telling you is they don't wanna to have to go through the pain of getting a contract or the discomfort of asking for a contract and it's better and easier to just not ask. But for me, it's a given. And I just tell the business owner, I'm like, hey, look, I'm gonna be exclusive with you, Mr. Business Owner, Mrs. Business Owner. So in order for me to commit to you, I need you to commit to me. I can't have you being able to walk away whenever you want. And then I have to go and go through this whole process again. So I'm gonna commit to you. I need you to commit to me for at least six months out the gate, okay? Now, I will tell you to be very candid. Uh, at certain times of the year, I don't do six month contracts because a six month contract, like right now, it's June. If I do a six month contract, that puts the contract ending basically in December, which is the worst time of the year for a contract to end, unless you're in snow removal, which I don't do because it's too seasonal. And so what I'll do at this point is I'll either try and push for a nine month contract or I'll do a 90 day contract, okay? Because I have to get, I have to, I'm like, look guys, Mr. Business Owner, you have to give me some period of time to prove that this works, right? And I always use this example. I'm like, look, if the first 10 leads I send you, you close all 10, is it safe to assume that you're gonna close 100%? And they say, well, no, of course not, okay? So if I send you the first 10 and you close none, is it safe to assume you're gonna close zero? And they're like, well, I guess, no, exactly, right? It's the same thing. So look, man, look, lady, you gotta give me three months. You gotta give me at least six months. You gotta give me at least nine months because you gotta let me prove this to you. We're gonna have some slow months. We're gonna have some slow, some quick months. We're gonna have some fast weeks, some slow weeks. We're gonna have some fast days, some slow days. It's the averages, okay? And then I'll open up my, my case studies and say, hey, look, look at all these other people I've done this for, whatever, right? Um, but average for me, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's changed, okay? And by the way, I have clients, I'm gonna throw out my anomalies. I have clients that I've made in one year, $60,000 that I've charged a hefty sum. Um, I had a massive, massive client um, that I don't have anymore, but that client was making me a ridiculous amount of money, which I wasn't super comfortable with because they had too much control. And I, I started slowly kind of spreading that out and because I knew the inevitable would come. And uh, that, was a, that was a deal when I was still doing pay per lead, which I knew the end would come and it did. And luckily I had mitigated that risk because I knew at some point it would happen. Um, but I wanna just talk about averages. I wanna talk about your average duct cleaning, concrete, tree service. What are these sites actually 
making, okay? So first of all, my minimum at this point in the game is at very minimum $1,000 a month. Like I'm not touching it if it's less than a thousand. Now, um, as recently as about a year ago, I did deals, I've done deals for less than that. I did a deal for one of my buddies who owns a mobile car detailing company. And because it was a buddy, because I'd never been in the niche and because I never would have touched the niche except for it was a buddy that literally said, here's my credit card. I did that deal for $700 per month. But outside of that, if it's me seeking somebody out, I'm not touching it. So if it's a niche, I can't charge at least a thousand bucks a month, I'm not touching it. So I am getting at the very, very, very minimum $1,000 per month. Okay. And at this point, my average clients are staying with me between 18 and 27 months. Okay. Based on the data. Now, do I have clients that have stayed with me three months and canceled because I did a bad job? Yes. Have I had clients that have stayed with me, um, six months and I dropped the ball? Yes. Have I had clients that stayed with me six months and they couldn't close and they left? Yes. Okay. And some of you are like, well, why are you only getting people for 27 months? Guys, 27, 29, I don't know the exact number, but I started going all in on flat fee deals in December of 2019, so do the math. So in a year, I'll make another video and I'll let you know how many of those clients that are at 27 months or 26 or 29, whatever they're at, how many of those are now at you know, close to 40 months? And I will let you know in a year, okay? So that is just my averages, but here's why. So my average client, do the math, right? $1,000 times 18, 18,000 bucks. This is gross, by the way. And I'll, I'll make another video to talk about what the actual profit is on these sites, but the, I'm talking gross numbers. So 18K up to 27K, I do have clients I've made 60K on, I have multiple clients I've made over 30K on. Those are just my averages, okay? And again, I have clients that I have struck out on where I did a bad job and it's usually my fault, but sometimes they just can't close and they blame it on me. That does happen as well, that's part of the game. Okay, um, but I'm gonna tell you why I have such good, uh, uh, so such low attrition, such good retention. It is because I sell a certain way. I sell logically. I sell based on worst case scenarios. I don't, because here's what's crazy. When you get good at sales, you can convince people to do almost anything. You can convince people and you can make the numbers look however you want them to make. And if you're just doing this for short-term gain, you could go get a $5,000 a month deal and they'll be with you for three months and you're gonna lose them. But I'm not playing the short-term game. I'm playing the long-term game. I want clients to, I wanna sign a client today and I want them to be a client for 10 years. And I want them to do multiple sites with me and I want them to increase price with me and I wanna sell them other services and I want to grow our relationship. So what that means, I need to undersell I need to over deliver and I need to manage expectations. So I sell all of my deals logically based on a worst case scenario, meaning I don't promise them or I don't even give them the expectation that they're gonna get 20, 30, 40 leads per month, which is not that much. That's less than one a day. I sell them on the expectation they're gonna get between 12 and 15 leads and that is gonna be what they're gonna make the decision on. And the reason I sell at that is because I know if Google does something crazy or if my website won't rank, I can get 12 to 15 leads just on Google ads immediately. And that means I will never have to go negative. I'll always be making profit. So if you want a quick answer of what an average client that's staying, that's staying with me between 18 and 27 months is, is what my average is, is actually making, well, you do the math. $1,000, I have clients that are paying me $3,000, but my lowest price outside of friends, outside of niches that I've never tested or niches that I would never touch, but people come to me, thousand dollars per month on the low end and right now it's between 18 and 27 months 